I'm back again with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop here this one is a Lenovo IdeaPad S145 series and it's a 14 inch model and the model you can find it on the bottom sticker right here it says IdeaPad S145-14 and in this video based on the request I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart and how you can add an extra hard drive or SSD drive and what are the combination that I will suggest for you guys to have and which one is best suitable for you guys all right so let's get it started the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set I use always the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there they are S2 class steel bits which make them really tough uh, so it won't worn down really easy you're going to be using Phillips number zero and also if you want to grab the pro version of this tool set that includes with the opening tools and a whole bunch of other stuff I'll leave the link in the description but in this video I'm going to use a, a guitar pick because it's the same thing as a opening tool it's a metallic soft edges and tough to bend all right first you want to power off the laptop completely make sure the power is completely off and you want to Turn and close it down, turn it upside down, and we're gonna start seeing a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. There are two types of screws in here, the short ones and the medium one. The short screws are four of them, they are in front end of the laptop. So from one, two, three, four, and the medium are the mid ones towards the back ones. So go ahead and remove all the screws that you see on the bottom cover and keep them in a two separate piles, the short ones and the long ones. Also, I realize only a few of my viewers are subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to help out and motivate me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Again, if you find my content useful for you guys, I will really appreciate it. There we go. Now, once you remove the screws at the bottom cover, you want to grab your guitar pick or opening toolkit and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right over here 90 degrees inward about two or three millimeters inward right inside the case and what you want to do you just want to twist it just like that and uh, you want to keep doing it every few centimeters inward and you want to hear those clicks uh, clips are getting snapped out and do this left and the side just keep Twisting it around, go towards the back corner, and now you see almost is out. So close it down, lift up, and wiggle it around, and it should come out. And if you get some of the tiny clips uh, snap off, don't worry about it. These tiny clips sometimes they snap off because of the time, the plastic just goes bad. The clips are there for keep the plastic in place so you can screw them down. They actually been held down by a screw, so don't worry about. It. Uh, oh, you know what? One of my clips are broken or something like that. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen. It's not the end of the world. And your case is still going to be in place. All right, that said, now once we remove, you're going to see obviously the mechanical drive is right on the right side of the, on the left side. If you're looking on this angle, but it will be on the right side of the palm rest. This is a one terabyte or 500 gig uh, mechanical drive here and also you, if you see there's a slot available here is an m.2 slot available to place an nvme drive right here so you can grab your nvme drive or m.2 drive i'll leave the link in the description snap it in there in 45 degree angle and bring it down and put a tiny screws i'll leave the link in the description for where you can buy the screws these are small screws for m.2 screws so you can keep it in place all right so that's an additional thing you can add now the best configuration for me for my opinion it's let me get this screw actually this was a very tiny screw all right for my opinion the best configuration would be to grab a one terabyte or 500 gig m.2 drive and install it in here and put your operating system your programs on your ssd drive 
and keep your mechanical drive or upgrade your mechanical drive to one terabyte or two terabyte mechanical drive so you save your big files your movies or your video editing program whatever your files we have on a mechanical drive and you work and your system your programs on an ssd drive that's the that'll be a really suitable configuration or you can just if you have an extra money go buy a four terabyte or two terabyte ssd drive sata connector and place it right here all right so i showed you guys how to install the m.2 drive now let's say if you want to remove or upgrade or change your mechanical drive there's a caddy that holding the hard drive in place there's a one two three four screws so go ahead and remove these four screws all right once you remove it the cat is going under the battery right here so put it slowly there's a ribbon cable there as long as you just let go of this part here a little bit now what you want to do you want to put your finger underneath and you want to grab this connector and you want to pull back this connector so you disconnect it just like that now there's the sata connector and there's a caddy that holds the hard drive right in there let's say you have the new hard drive doesn't have to be Toshiba, it can be Western Digital or anything like that, any 2.5 inch, or you can grab an uh, SSD drive. To re replace it, you have to always keep in mind the coordination of the SATA connector, the small connector on the left side, the power connector on the right side. So go ahead and remove the caddy by removing four screws, two on each side of the caddy. All right now to remove the hardware just fill it up don't worry about this rubber fillers right here you don't need them so remove this one grab your ssd drive place it in there or grab a new hard drive place it in there it doesn't make it the difference they are the same for the sake of the video i'm just going to show you guys how to put it in here and then the screws goes back on it but this is a client of mine, so I'm just going to put back his hard drive in place. And we're going to grab the screws for this one. Place the screws right there on every corner. There we go. Now, once you have your new drive in there in the caddy, grab the connector, push it in the place, and slide the caddy under the battery. Make sure it's nicely aligned. The screw holes match. Put the two tiny screws at the back end. Again, remember once you change your hard drive, you have to install the new operating system on the drive. Otherwise, it's not going to have any operating system installed. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of you know, options to how to install the drives or what the other options are there if you don't want to install your Windows and you don't want to lose your files. Let's say you want to upgrade, you don't want to put, install the M.2 drive, let's say. Let's say you just want to upgrade your mechanical drive to an solid state drive. Then what you need to do, uh, and if you don't want to install the Windows, and you, want, you can just clone your old Windows by just grabbing one of these USB to SATA connectors and connect your new SSD drive in here. Connect it on your computer, power it on, and download the cloning program. I'll leave the link in the description. Using the program, you can clone your mechanical drive into your SSD hard drive. Once the cloning is finished, you can do this whole process and switch the SSD with a mechanical drive. And then once you boot it up, it's going to, you files, everything, all programs is going to be in the same place. And you're going to have the beneficial usage of the SSD. But if you want to add M.2 right here, then it is it's still possible. You still have to add M.2. Then you still have to boot up through the mechanical drive. Use the program to clone this one into this SSD drive. Then you want to power it off. And then you want to boot through the M.2. And then you want to format this one right here. All right. I hope you guys got my point. Now, you also to do this whole process, you do not need to remove the battery. You do not have to remove the battery to do all this process. But if you want to be paranoid and remove the battery, you can just pull these cables back to get this jack disconnected. And if you have disconnected the battery, go ahead and plug it back in. 
grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push down the corners, the sides, make sure you hit those clicks, the front end, and the last thing would be to putting up the screws on the bottom cover. Remember the short screws goes in the front and the long screws goes to the mid towards the back end. And again, if you guys find my videos useful and if this video helped you guys out and if you want to support the channel, click that like button and subscribe. I will take that as a support from you guys. And again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.